Boom, right, we are live. So, another day, another live stream. Uh, car boot haul and... Oh, no, wait, where's my charity shop pickups? Hang on. I don't even know where my charity shop pickups are. Um, I'll have to wait for a couple of people to jump in. We've not got any viewers at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't know where my charity shop pickups were. Might be in the kitchen, I might have to run in in a minute. Um, but yeah, so Kabu, it was okay this morning. Um, the whole, basically, the whole um, title thing where I've put some days are good, some days are bad, and then today, some days are average. So that's the whole title thing. Um, so yeah, see, it was average, it wasn't good, it wasn't bad, it was just average. Um, and I'm quite happy with that because some days are really poor, so average is good, I'll take average. Um, yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to get on with it. Um, more people will probably jump in in a second, so um, while I'm sort of getting on with it, I'm sure a few more people will join me. Oh, here we go. Um, seven people watching now. We've got Doc Did Doodle Do, we've got uh, Jason, we've got... Um, Destify, we've got Varja, is that how you pronounce your name, Varja? Sorry, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. We've got Maria, we've got Ems, we've got Andrew, we've got another Andrew, we've got Daniel, and we've got my old mate Ryan in the chat there as well, that was unexpected. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I will get on with Paul. So, yeah, um, as I said, some days are good, some days are bad, other days are average. Uh, this was 50p, and oh, every time I go to a car boot now, I I am really getting peed off at how much competition there is, and I know I I'm not gonna moan about competition because that's the whole, that's the game, you know, if, you know, there's competition, that's that's just how it is, um, and you know, if you're not willing to accept that, then just don't play the game, basically. But it does get me pissed off because I'm like, oh, you know, you really want to get in there and other people are like, literally other people are like in there so quick and it's like, for God's sake, and they're like 40 or 50 and it's like, how the hell do you walk that fast to a car and stuff? But I swear I need to be more assertive. I say that every week. I need to be like elbows in there, like, come on then lad, come on, let's get going, you know. That's sort of like assertiveness because... I'm not like that, I'm not like that, and I say it every week, and I, I didn't necessarily miss out on anything this week, I didn't miss out on anything, there was a guy who, well, a couple of guys who got to a car before me, and there was a load of Lego there, but luckily it was overpriced anyway, and we didn't even bother touching it, and then I walked up there, and none of it had gone, it was all overpriced anyway, and I think it was probably going to stay there till the end, but... Um, yeah, dog eat dog world in the resign world, it is. And I just need to be more like, boom, you know, in there, like shoulders out, you know, in there. But I just don't feel like I'm that sort of person. Um, but I mean, I've been doing, I've been doing car boots quite a while. And, but I don't think I've still quite grasped that, like, get in there, you know. Like, Chris, Chris, you get some awesome pickups. So you must be fairly assertive at boot sales. Am I right in saying that? Like, you'll, you'll get in there, you'll be, you know, you'll be in there. As soon as the cars roll up, you'll be over there making your deals, all that sort of stuff. And that's what I see from a lot of the other guys, and that's what I try to do. But I just don't feel like I'm that assertive with it. But anyway, we'll get on with it. I'll stop moaning at you. Um, 50p for this vintage tennis racket. Here we go. You need to be motivated and quick. You don't need to be aggressive, etc. Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying are here, yeah. No, mate, I stand, sit, uh, I stand at the back and pick from the scrap. Really? You pick from the scraps? You must, oh my god, your boot sales must be awesome because every single one I go to, I'm picking from the scraps and I'm getting okay stuff, but not like mega stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe I need an alter ego, maybe I need to unleash Kruifni on them. Then we won't bloody say anything, we'll be like, yes. You know, you know then I'll be getting in there. But anyway, uh, this is, I can't make out the name. Lass. Just says like, lass. Oh, it's rubbed off. I don't know what that says, but it's made in Pakistan. 
Uh, 50p, I couldn't say no. I know certain people have done well with these vintage rackets. Um, but yeah, that's that. Oh, ow. Um, but that's that. So I don't know what I'm going to make on it. I'm hoping uh, about a tenner, but I really haven't a clue with that one. Um, I bought a selfie stick for me because you remember a couple of weeks ago I mentioned that I did some RA um, at Sainsbury's and I got a couple of selfie sticks. Well, I actually sold both of them, and I was meant to keep one of them for myself. So I saw that for a quid, and I thought I'd pick it up for me, because, as I say, my other one's broke. Um, I got a sealed Ravensburger puzzle. I can't sell it on Amazon. Paid a pound for that. It's restricted on Amazon. Um, a couple of these, actually, I think most of these are restricted now on Amazon, for me at least, anyway. Um, I suspect I'll be getting about £12 back on eBay, maybe maybe 12 to 15 but probably about 12 quid. But still, nice bread and butter item, can't complain at that one. Uh, right, where should we go now? We'll do fail of the week. Go past the frenzy to the next stall. That's what I do, Ken. Uh, go past the frenzy to the next stall and go backwards after the original stall. Because most, most buyers... Uh, most buyers have blinkers and miss loads of good good chisel. Well, I've got an example, and I may as well do this now, right? Here's an example. About five or six older dealers, because most of the dealers at my car boot are like 40 plus. Um, but I think there's one or two guys who are maybe 30, 35. Most of them are older. older. And they all look at me like I'm like nothing, like, oh yeah, you, you, you know. But I'm like, well, you can bloody, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. Um, but I just do my own thing, you know, I just move away from them. And if they think I'm just an insignificant little little guy who doesn't know what he's doing, that's, you know, their opinion. But I'm just going to walk away. But prime example, right? There was this stall, a uh, lovely young woman, fairly attractive young woman as well. Um, I'm a guy, I notice these things, um, and anyway, she had it all laid out, loads of baby stuff, obviously she just had a baby, uh, well not just had a baby, but had had a baby in the past and was getting rid of some of the, the baby stuff, and um, she had this out, right, this is a prime example, there was about five dealers, six dealers, I know specifically three of those dealers do toys, baby stuff, Thing, you know, things like this, toys, hard toys, thing, things like that, Lego, all that sort of stuff. Oh, God, I've got 20% remaining on my battery, better be quick. Um, and they just ignored it. They all just sat there, they all just stood there talking. I'm like, what the hell? So I just said, how much for your trunk And She said, two quid. Well, that's a 25 quid item. It's like, what? It's like, come on, you've got to be... You've got to be better than that. But anyway, so I grabbed that for two quid under their noses. So, Ken, you're exactly right there. Um, you know, we missed some stuff, but, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, but sometimes they're amazing and they're far too quick for me. And then other times you just get little okay items like that. So, yeah, happy with that. Um, I got from another stall uh, for three pounds. I got this. I can get it out. It's like this, so it's that on there, and I'm gonna get it out in a sec. So it's like brother, it's for sewing. It's for sewing. Yeah, most stuff was between two to five pound. Oh my god, 34 people watching now. Wow, that's crazy. Um, most stuff was between two to five pound. Missed a Nez for five pound. Oh my god, I would that would throw me off for the whole morning, man. If I if I missed a Nez. I'd be like, right, I, I can't do this. I've got to bloody go. I just, I'm stressed out. and You know, that, that would really throw me off. But it's a brother KA8210. Uh, it's something to do with sewing. I did briefly research it actually at the boot sale. I don't normally do that. I generally just go on instinct because I've not got time to research stuff. Um, but yeah, I think I'll get about 15, 20 quid, something like that. Um, thing is, a Nez is not that valuable, dare I say. Oh, yeah, I got 120 the other day for a Nez with two controllers. That's valuable. Oh, yeah, 120. 120 from £5 on FBA, though, that is. And now, because my one's gone, the next FBA offer is, like, 150 but I don't know whether that's boxed or not. But that ma the one I sold was unboxed, just the Nez with two controllers and, and the wires, obviously. 
um, and I got 119.99. So yeah, they are they are pretty valuable. Um, but yeah, I mean for five quid, I'd be like, oh, you know, I really want that. And then I'd be like, well, if I didn't get it, I'd be like, ooh. But anyway, so I'm maybe thinking like 15 to 20 on that. Um, you know what I might have to do? I might have to run upstairs and get my charger in a minute because it would probably flash at me 10% uh, low battery. Um, right, what should I do next? Oh, this. Another three pound. That brother is part of a knitting machine. Oh, knitting machine. But you hardly find theirs in the wild whilst they are plenty of other fat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, yeah, I mean, like, there's loads. Like, the thing is, at car boots, I know they're out there, and and I'm sure I've seen them, but, like, not really, like, not really notice them, because I don't really, I've not got the knowledge, but, like, at auction, I, I can see in the auction catalogue, like, there's loads of real high-value items, but maybe, maybe because I just don't have the knowledge, like, there in front of me, um, and there are loads of hundred pound items on plus at car boots but I probably just don't have the knowledge um anyway this is a to Toyota another thing for a knitting machine or a sewing machine um this one I think goes for a bit less I paid three pound uh, yeah three pound again um and I think I'm looking about 15 on that one so I mean 15 to 20 on the brother and then this one I'm thinking maybe about 15 on so yeah that's that um and they were she wanted eight pound for the two but I got it down to six um, so yeah, that was that, um, ba -do -do. Ralph Lauren, Polo, Ralph Lauren, uh, what size are we, oh it didn't say, uh, well it does say, but 15 and a half inch, 39 inch, is that right, are they in inches, I think they're in inches, um, I was expecting it to say small, medium and large, but yeah, that's fairly nice, 50p paid, so I was happy with that, 20 quid item there, so that's all good. Nice margin that is for, you know, 15 pad, 50p into 20 quid. No shopping for me as I'm still working through the £6,000 of stock I bought the auctions in the last few weeks. I need to do that. Next week when I get to that auction, I'm going to spend like crazy and get some awesome stuff. Um, yeah, I can't wait to that, for that. Um, so that was nice, that Wild Fluent shirt, obviously... Uh, great profit margin on that one, 50p into 20 quid. I bought this, it was a bit of a punt for a quid. Um, it's like a Puma, is it like a sportswear, active wear type thing? Um, I'll show you it in full or, you know, a bit better there. So it's like this here. I don't know, there might be... I just don't, I've not researched it prior to the, to the live stream. I have researched other stuff. Um... But yeah, I don't know, it might be something, I, I sort of saw quite a lot of Adidas and stuff, but I stay away from them, um, but yeah, Puma, I don't know, is Puma okay? <laughs> I don't know, just picked it up for a quid. Um, what else? Fail of the day. I don't know why I picked this up, right? But there was a few dealers behind me, and um, they were, well, no, but actually there was a few dealers in front of me, and we were looking at these, and that's what piqued my interest, and then... Um, I went over after them, and it was like, uh, what was that, rail tickets, £10 into one nine nine is the way to go, hey, Ken. Um, yeah, and there was a few deals in front of me, and piqued my interest in this stuff, right? And I don't know why, I don't know why I bought these. You're just going to have to, like, oh, just... Don't watch this bit or something, because this is terrible. This is a bad purchase. I bought this box for a fiver, right? And it's full of vintage tools. And, like, my granddad knows quite a bit about vintage tools. And my, uh, one of my granddad's friends called Ian knows a lot about vintage tools. But, anyway. I don't know why I bought them. They're really rusty. And I don't know whether anyone will want them. But... Anyway, I've decided to buy them. I've got a hammer that's virtually coming off the, the end of the thing there, the end of the, the wood. Um, I've got some sort of file. Is that a file? I don't know, but they're really rusty. Um, and then I've got a load, well, quite a few. Um, I've got a trowel. 
Um, and I got... Yeah, I know there's loads of money in them, Neil, but I'm thinking I might have done wrong because they're so... so I mean, I don't know. It, the reason I'm thinking I've done wrong, you know, this is, this is the reason, and I shouldn't let it get me down, is one of the de dealers said to me when I was walking away with it, oh, there's, there's, there's no money in them, there's no play left in them, mate. And I was like... I was, I was like, grinning a bit, like, you know, having a laugh with him. But I don't know. I don't know. Like, Neil says there, they do look pretty rough, you know? That's what I'm meaning. And that threw me off a bit. Um, but, worst comes to worst, I can just give them, you know, gift them to my, my granddad friend Ian, and he'll have them. He might sell them, or he might... I don't know what he'll do with them, but he might be able to make some use out of them. Um, but I think he paid a fiver for that. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it, but, yeah. No, it's not called that, is it? Bastard file. That's what it's actually called. It's a file that handle. You never know ads. Yeah. Um, King Dick Spanners go for good money. Is that what they're called? Or is that the brand name on... That on? I don't know, but anyway, there. there's quite a few. Five pound is not too much. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was like, worst comes to worst, five pound isn't. Does that suitcase have a lid? It does. It does, but it's like. It's, has it been like torn off or something? It does have a lid though. I mean, it, I don't know whether it could be repaired or not. I don't, don't know. But it's not got. It had no. Sorry, it has got some markings on it. But I can't see what they are. The, have been rubbed off. Yeah, knackered. Yeah, yeah, basically, that's what I was thinking. I was like, how the hell am I going to repair that? But, yeah, anyway. Um, couple of Disney DVDs for 50p each. Wow, 40 people what? 41 people watching now. Uh, 50p each, either go in a bundle, or I might be able to bundle them two together and get a bit of money back. Uh, another fail, well, it's not technically a fail, but um, I paid a quid for this. I might be able to get some money back at Amazon. It's got its key code, importantly. Um, but I just sort of... I think the file is called a ped... What? No! Oh, you're just messing with me now, you lot. Um, yeah, I might be able to get some money back on FBA. I don't know why. I thought it was worth something because it was Evil 4. But anyway, that was just me. Obviously, I'm not that great at PC games still. Um, but that's that. Uh... What now? Right. Okay. Something that could be a little bit better, but I don't think he's going to be amazing, amazing. One sec. As I said, I might have to go and get my little charger in a sec, because I'm getting worried that it's going to uh, go off. I should have been more prepared. So I got for 15 quid, because you wouldn't budge on price. Basically, for 15 quid, I got this bundle of cameras. She would not budge on price. But... What I did get her to do is throw in a couple of ties. And I love picking these ties up. I love picking them up. Absolutely love it. Um, they are official, vintage, Looney Tunes ties. They are uh, Tasmanian Devil, 1996. So they are the same age as me. Um, and yeah, this is like a football-y type themed one because it's got footballs on. Um, and then this one... Is like a spinny one, like uh, when he's spinning around. Um, and again, this one's official Looney Tunes. Um, but yeah, quite nice. They are. I got her to throw them in for a 15 quid because I wasn't sure on the cameras. And if I got her to throw those in, it would cushion any loss I had, which I didn't think would be a loss. I knew I'd be able to get my money out of them, but it just it's just extra something to help make profit off the job a lot, basically, and cover uh, you know cover me. So um, yeah, that's those two. Now I've seen some people get like ten pound a piece for for certain ones of these official Looney Tunes ties, um, but I might sort of go a little bit lower than that. I'm not sure how realistic ten pound a piece is. Um, I know I could certainly get sort of seven pound each. Um, I might do a little bundle, um, oh there's my low battery 10%, I'll go up and get my charger in a sec. Um, but yeah, I might do a little bundle, but I've got probably, I don't know, £10, £15 in the two ties there, so I've got most of my money back out of the ties, 
Um, and now, just before the cameras, please do talk among yourselves. I'm very, very sorry that I have to go upstairs and get my charger. But if I don't, the stream will cut out. So I'll be one second. <laughs> Regrettably, that was more than one second, and I don't think I've got the right charger. Can you see that there? It's coming apart. Oh, God, I don't know. One second. I'm going to have to go back and get another charger. Yeah, see, it's all right for the people who can actually skip this after the live show, but it's not all right for you guys. Uh... Right, hopefully this one will work. I've got about 100 charges around. Right, sorry about that. Hopefully that's okay. I don't know, I don't know. If it goes off randomly, I apologise. We're just going to have to get through it a bit quicker. So, £15, the ties, and then this lot. So, God, I'm out of breath now. I need to get in shape. Um, these are Hanimex, this is a Hanimex TZ1. And this is a flash. Um, and I'm probably, it's not the best, this one, this isn't the best thing out of the job lot. Um, I'm probably looking top end, about nine quid on that. Um, so yeah, not, not the best, but um, I, did, I did switch some of the buttons on and I did hear a noise. So that's quite promising that it works, but I'm, I'm going to test it a bit more in depth than that. Um, but yeah, probably like top end, like nine quid on that. We don't seem to be doing that much. Um, but yeah, that's that. Oh my God, 47 people watching. That's a new high. That is crazy. Does it have a test button? It ha Oh, it has an auto test button. Blow me now, I didn't see that. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, but anyway, that's that. Hopefully I'll get nine quid. Oh yeah, I forgot, Darren, you're doing a lot of your cameras now, aren't you? Um... Right, and then I got a Zenit, which is uh, EM, which is like a really popular 80s camera. Um, my dad said he had one in 1980-odd when he was like similar age to me, but that shows his age, so I won't say any more. Um, yeah, that's just the body of the camera, and then we've got like a little Vivitar, I think this, I think this is a Vivitar lens. Yeah, it is, it's got it stamped on the side there. Um, yeah, a little... Vivitar lens thing on there. Um, I don't know what the body goes for. Um, the, um, well, what I'll, what I'll probably do is sell the body with that lens um, and then sell the other two lenses separately. There's got to be some money in the body in that lens. It's not going to be a lot, um, but probably enough to be worth selling. Um, and then... This is the lens that I was intrigued about because this is an, this is like well not an okay one but it's all you know I've had it before and you can get a bit of money for it. Um, it's a Helios or Helios I can never pronounce that Helios uh, forty four meter or millimeter I don't know two slash five eight. Um, now you can get something on this. There was a sold listing and it said like with M sixty two or M two adapter or something um and that went for like 20 odd quid but i think without that adapter i don't even know what that adapter is i don't know whether i've got it i don't know whether i haven't i don't think i have it um but without that adapter i don't know i'm hoping like 10 15 pounds something like that um but that's that one anyway as i say i've had that lens before with a zen uh, not a zenith is it a zenith or is it a zenith I thought they were called Zenith. Anyway, um, well, that's that. Anyway, so so that's some money in that. So I've got some money in the body. We've got hopefully 10, 15 quid in that. We've got nine quid in the, in the thing there. And we've got hopefully 14, 15 quid in the ties. And then um, I've got another lens, a bigger one. Like, I don't know what you'd call this. Is it a zoom lens or... I don't know. Um, yes. M42 mount, yeah. Is this a zoom lens? I haven't a clue. 
looks like it. But again, it was in the 15 quid. Wow, 54 people watching. 58, what the hell, this is crazy. Sorry about the language. Um, right, there's no, there's no um, markings on this, so I haven't a clue. Uh, sorry, it, there's a, it's made in Japan, but I mean, there's no um, brand markings on this or anything. So, I don't know, but there's certainly got to be some money in that uh, to sell it as well. As I say, that goes in and out like that. Um, so yeah, whoa, 67, wow, that is ridiculous. Like, just to think 67 people are watching me now, that is, that is unbelievable. Thank you everyone to, 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 oh, what am I trying to say, who has joined me? Um, so that's that one, again, in the £15 job lot. Now I've got uh, a better pickup, like a real, well not really good pickup, but a better pickup in a set to show you. Um, I'm just going to check. Oh, and sorry, with that, that little lens there has got a little case. Um, and this is the case it came in. It's a Pullman. Now, I imagine I could sell that as well. Um, yeah, I imagine I could sell that for some money as well. So, yeah, happy with that. Um, there's going to be some money in that job lot from 15 quid. Probably not the best amount of money, but certainly if I could get maybe 50 or 60 quid out of my 15 quid, I'd be happy. Because it was a little bit of a punt anyway, and I'm not too familiar with the whole camera scene, but I had to pick it up because I was so intrigued by it. Um, so that's that. 69 people watching. Wow, it's crazy. Um, I mean, just to go from my high of 41 people watching all the way to 69 is incredible. Um, so I've done that, uh, what else do I need now, what have I, alright, okay, so I got three, well I got a box, two bags and a little bit of overspill for a fiver, um, basically it was all in one big box and oh my god, I'm, I get so annoyed when people say on the group like, well I don't get annoyed because I'm happy for them, but I, they always say, I got this big box for two quid or a fiver, and it's like, every time I ask, like, a seller, um, you know, how much is this, what would you do on this big box of stuff, they always tell me, oh, you can have it for 30 quid or 20 quid. I never get any really decent bargains, but for pretty much, well, not the first store, but the first store that I actually bought anything off, uh, I was looking at this Spongebob set, because I really do like Spongebob, and, uh, why? What? what oh, I, I don't even... I, I don't even know. I didn't even realise there was trolls. Um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, mark some people as moderators next time. Um, well, like, before the, before the uh, next live show. Um, but anyway, I walked up to the stall and there was uh, a load of Spongebob sets there. And I really like Spongebob. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to get these. These will be nice to deal with, fun to process. Um, and I said, you know, how much are your Spongebob sets? And she said, well, which ones are you interested in? And I said, well, I'd be interested in, you know, all of the sets. So um, she said, well, what, what do you want to just take the box? And I said, well, because there's other bits and bobs in the box that I'm going to show you now. And I said, uh, I said, well, how much is the box? Expecting to say... 15 20 quid and even at that level i might have thought i might have thought about it at least but she just said oh you know you can have it for five pounds so i was like yeah i finally got a big box for less than a tenner so i was happy with that so i'll show you what's in that now so this was all a tenner some of it i don't know prices on some of it's going in bundles some of it's just random stuff random tap there was this mini little life backpack thing Oh, I thought that was my mum and dad coming back. 73 people watching, wow. Um, oh no, I need someone to, yeah, I know, I need someone to, to get those trolls off. Um, yeah, so I'll have to do that for next time. So I'm sorry if you're in the chat and you're dealing with a lot of trolls. I will sort that out next time. If you are a troll, please just go somewhere else. You know, be an adult, grow up, you know. Do something adult, outside, whatever. You know, it's a lovely day where I am. Go outside and just have some fun and enjoy your life. Don't be coming on here and, and, and coming on to our community and just, you know, doing silly stuff. But anyway, that's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, nice little 
little life backpack. Um, yeah, really, I, I just like this. I think um, I think it's just a nice. I just think it's a nice item. I've had quite a few of these. Well, I've had about two or three of these in the past, um, and they sell well. I mean, I've had the large ones before. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get as much for this one as I will a large one. I believe this is a smaller one. Um, and it, yeah, I think the large ones go for about 15, maybe 15 pound plus postage. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably 10 pound plus postage, that sort of range. Um, so yeah, that's that one from the job lot. Um, I got a few DVDs, some sealed that I will scan into Amazon. Um, Fantasia, that might be a nice one to bundle with the cars as well as that one. Um, but yeah, so there's three of those. Again, in the five pound job lot, so I was happy. Um, some random books. I know it's not the, the most exciting, but I just thought I'd show you it because it was in the job lot. Um, random teapot thing, again, five pound. Um, um, if you need a mod, oh sorry, um, I'd, I'd get mods now because the chat is, I don't know how to do it, how would you do it? Can I do it on here? I don't know, because I'm on my mobile, I don't know how you actually get a mod. Um, but anyway, that's that. Um, and then we've got a little thing. I can mod bro. Well, I don't know whether you're one of the trolls, do I? I need someone who I know. <laughs> I need someone who I completely trust a mod, like Darren or someone. Um, I, don't, I honestly don't know how. I'll try and fiddle around with it, but I don't want to... Click the three dots next to the person's name. Oh, right, okay, okay. Um, add moderator. Beautiful. That should have left Darren as a moderator, I assume. Yeah, great. Cheers, Darren. Sorry about that, people. I didn't. I didn't know. Now we might need another one because there's 86 people watching, so I'm very sorry. Who wants to be a moderator who I really trust and know? Um, do a few. Neil, do you want to be a moderator? I'll, I'll make you one anyway. I don't know if you don't know what you're doing. That's fine. You, you know, I, I can. I can put someone else on there. I just need people that I trust to be a moderator. Um, so, yeah, anyway, that's that. So, that's like just a little part of the job lot. We've not got to the exciting stuff, which is the Spongebob stuff. Um, so yeah, this is the Spongebob stuff. We've got the Krusty Krab. I know I am, I'm getting quite popular. Um, yeah, 87 people, what is this? That's double my record. Over double my record. Now this hasn't got any interior in, but I think there are interior bits in that lot somewhere. So I'll have to have a check, uh, check that, check that out. Now, um, yeah, so so that's that one again in the five pound job lot. It came with a lot of figures. There's loads of figures that I've got to show you. Um, but I will be able to kit it out with a few different things that are obviously in the bottom of the bags. Um, but it does seem to be a bit bare in there. I think, as I say, there are little bits and bobs in the bottom of other bags. Um, now this is Simba Toys. I don't know whether all of it is Simba Toys or not. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Simba... Hang on. Simba Toys... Uh, Germany. Oh, Germany. 2013. Um, obviously it's Spongebob's Pineapple, his home. Um, again, in the £5 job lot, so I was really happy about that. Um, and it does seem to have... His little bed in or something. I don't know what's in there. A little, can you see that? Like a little bed or something? Yeah, I think this is a little bed. I don't know. Um, I have seen those Looney Tunes ties go for... Really? Wow. 15 to 20 pound each. Or like together. Because that's nice. Um, yeah, I, I will need to actually um, get some more moderators next time. Just in case. Just in case. Um... But yeah, that's that anyway, so, yeah. Um, what else? What else? Oh, now these sets are quite nice. I like this one. And I, as I say, I like dealing with this stuff because it's Spongebob and I like Spongebob. 
<laughs> How many times have I said that now? Um, Simba, yeah, this is Simba Toys again. Um, 2016, because, hang on. Yeah, SpongeBob was, yes, yeah, SpongeBob's still going, isn't it? So, 2016. Uh, battery, battery's in there, so battery operated or something. Um, and, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I need to actually test it, obviously, get some batteries in there. Probably AA, probably AA, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, it does look a bit bare in there, actually. I'll show you. I don't know whether it needs more chairs. But, as I say, I'm going to show you all the extras in a minute and see if the chairs are in there. Um, but that's that one. Again, in the £5 job lot. Um, oh, we've got a random... Patrick figure, he can sit there. Um, so yeah, and then we've got this wacky thing that I don't even think I've seen in the actual show. It's like this um, really rather cool, funky, hippie looking van uh, with its little roof on, but its roof doesn't... It will attach, but I need to actually properly give it some force. I'm not going to do that now. I probably will attach, but I need to give it some force and get it inside those little grooves. See what I mean? So it lines up and slides in. Um, but yeah, quite cool that one. That's got a bit more interior in. I think it does need a bit of a wipe. But it's got a bit more interior in there, so that's quite nice. Probably just put a few figures with that. Uh, clean it up, as I say, and, and that'll go with a nice little... That'll go as a nice little bundle. I'm thinking of doing these separately, so I'll do like a little bus set with, with some figures. Um, I'll do this little bus set with some figures. I might do the Krusty Krab singularly if I can get some interior for it. Um, and then I'll probably do that singularly with, well, with some figures, obviously. Um, and the Krusty Krab, I'll throw some figures in, but yeah. That's that anyway, so uh, there's one more bag, one more bag of stuff. Um, I know, I, I got a right bargain for, um, for £5 here. Uh, now that is to do with the Krusty Krab, I believe. That goes like on the outside of it. Off to sort out my stock, uh, my stock out. Buy ads and all. Thanks Chris for joining. We're pretty much at the end now, so you're not going to have missed anything awesome. Um, but yeah, that is that. Oh, here's all the figures and stuff. Right, so I've got... Anyway, the moderators, seem to, the moderators seem to be doing a great job. Let's move little Patrick out of the way here. There we go. Um, I don't know what this is. I don't think this is SpongeBob, or is it? Or is it? Let's have a look. No, it's not SpongeBob, this. It's something, and I'll get some money back off it, but this was just one of the random things in the box that she said, oh, you know, just take the box, so... You know, I just took that with it. Um, it was a nightmare getting it all sorted, though, because the thing is, she wanted the box back. So, um, yeah, it was a little bit... It, it was a little bit annoying because I had to put it all in bags and then I had to get another little box. Oh, yeah, but anyway, um, it was okay in the end. We managed to get it sorted. Uh, Darren says, is there any brand or any year? Uh, 2014, Ac Acmar Film. Sorry, I'm covering up my face there. Um... Mattel. Oh, it's Mattel. 2014 Mattel. Copyright. I need my little one. One sec. Always prepared, eh? Always prepared. Look at this. Right. Let me get me a little light on it. Boom. Let's see that here. 2014 Mattel. Oh, it's just stating the address. Akmar Films 2014, yeah, it's, it's nothing new, it's just the address, I thought there was something else there. But yeah, always prepared, you've got to be always prepared as a reseller. Um, yeah, so that's that anyway. Um, and then, we've got a massive, well not a massive bag, but we've got tons of other little things that I don't think are relating to Spongebob. We've got a ton of figures and random stuff in here, you know the drill, loads of figures. I'll get them out over there. We've got even more figures and crusty, ah yes, great. Crusty crab table, if I can get that. Crusty crab table, although it seems to be missing its sort of sticker. I've, there might need to be a sticker there actually, so I think it's missing that. But um, yeah, SpongeBob. 
I'm going to tidy this up afterwards. Oh, yeah, SpongeBob's chair for in his house. Um, I don't know what that is. Look at that. That's cool. Um, yeah, loads and loads of stuff. More random books that I'll just job lot up, I suppose. Um, I thought I got a great bargain here, a great steal. So, yeah, Akami, Akara Films did a series called... Bing bunnies, yes, it will be that, it will be that. The house is from, yeah, yeah, he says the house is from that, yeah. It's got to be. Anyway, uh, that is those. Because you know why I knew that? Because I saw a little bunny on the side of the house, or on the middle of the house. Nursery, right? Yeah, no, it's, just, it's just random stuff now. It's just random stuff. More SpongeBob, you know, you get the drill. There's, there's a few more little bits in there, but nothing amazing. Louis Tunes type at the moment going for £10. This is the item number. Um, yeah, so that's that, guys. I'll leave it there. Um, so, I mean, as I say, it was an average day today. It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't a really good day. Some days are really good. Other days are really bad. Today was just, yeah, it was okay. I'll take it, you know, I'll take it. Um, probably going to make a, a couple of hundred quid, maybe a bit more, uh, in terms of sales. I don't know, I've not totted everything up. Probably probably a little bit more than a couple of hundred quid, I would say. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that, but it's not really amazing, you know. It's really, I'd be looking at like five, six hundred quid I'd be wanting. But... You know, I mean, that's a, that's a really good day. You know, if, if if I make a few hundred quid off this stuff, I'm happy. I literally spent an hour and a half there. It, t it took me, um, you know, a few minutes to get it all sorted into my accounts. Um, and it won't take me a ton of time to sort all this. It does look like a lot of stuff, but I'm, pr I'm pretty quick when I get going. Um, so, you know, yeah, as I say, Darren just... Well, as Darren just said there, it all adds up, so... Yeah. I'm happy with that. So, um, oh, who's that there? Pommy, po, po, Pommy Pickers. Adds up even. Uh, add, adds up even. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. So, yeah, we'll leave it there, guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, and, yeah, I will see you in the next one. I will see you for a sales update, actually. But I keep promising. So I'll see you for a sales update. So see you very soon, guys. Thanks for joining me.